Have you ever been bullied? Have you been the bully? Today at the In Search of Me Cafe, find out how young people deal with bullying and its harmful effects. Learn how to help yourself and your friends at the In Search of Me Cafe. a pretty uh, serious video that you made and some, some interesting uh, statistics that you had at the beginning too. I really feel strongly about bullying because I really had, se I had some very serious issues going on in my life because of it. I know that it should be stopped and there's so many kids nowadays that have had the same problem that I have had. So when did it all start? Um, it started when I went to middle school and there's just so many kids there that they basically purposely try to bring you down so that they can feel better and I, you know, I went from the top of the school to the exact bottom of the school and it basically just started when I hit middle school. Have any, any of you also experienced that? I definitely went through it. I mean, starting high school and everything, it was just, you know, kids would make comments and it, that may not be like getting beat up, but it definitely hurts too. I mean, if you, you're commented on about, oh, you're not good enough, oh, you, you know, I'm way better than you, you know, they're sitting there just constantly putting you down and putting you down and putting you down, and finally you're just like, well, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. You know, there's something wrong with me. I must be stupid or I must be not, or not pretty or whatever. Yeah. And then you sit there and that's all you think. Mm -hmm. you know, and people will continue to make those comments that you eventually give up on yourself. Right. So. I feel that whoever is bullied, you know, especially when you're just coming into middle school or high school, people look at you, you know, as, oh, you know, he thinks he's all that or she thinks she's all that. So they try to bring you down, you know, either way, physical or, or mental. They, they try to bring you down, mm -hmm. especially if they feel that you're a threat to them. And so that, 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 that's basically what they're... Yeah, I think a, a big misconception about bullying is that it's purely physical, you know, that's, that's not the case at all because a lot of the time it's just comments people make and I think to a lot of people it, when the comments made it may seem little to another person but to that person it could be devastating. Right. And even like on Facebook or MySpace or whatever, one comment made by somebody can just get through everybody. And then suddenly it gets twisted and twisted like the game telephone when we were kids. Mm -hmm. Like you'd sit there and whisper one thing and then by the end of the line it'd be totally different. Right. It's just, you know, rumors can hurt people. Or it could have even just started as a joke with your friends. Oh, ha ha, it's funny. You know, it was funny to everybody else but not you because you took that to heart because your best friend said that about you, you know. But it was just a joke, right? But, you know, maybe they did mean it. So then it gets to everybody else and it gets around and it's like, oh, your friends said that about you. Yes, you're not and a very they know good you're the best, right? And so they must be telling the truth. But that's not necessarily true. You know, some yeah. people take jokes way too far. 
Right. And, you know, and then other people hear it and then they're like, oh, that's true. And, you know, it just gets way out of hand all the time. I mean, you know, I have a friend and all during middle school, he wasn't, he wasn't thin or anything. He was chunky. And, you know, he was all right with that. You know, he was fine. But then people started making fun of him. And then they'd start pushing him and shoving him because he couldn't do anything. He didn't, you know, have the strength to do anything. And he'd just get made fun of and bullied all the time. And it's still to this day with him. He still, you know, he can't stand jokes that, you know, are aimed at him personally. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, you are like, oh, you're eating so much fatty or whatever, he just takes it right away to heart and he gets really tense. And, you know, he can't take that. He's not, he just can't. And, you know, you may be saying it in a joking way, but it still hurts him. And he'll still stick with the whole, I don't look good enough. Mm -hmm. I'm not thin enough. You know, I'll never get picked first for sports or whatever. So it definitely has an impact on your life. So what kind of impact did it have on your life? Well, obviously not a positive one, but um, it really, it really changed me, you know, it, it really made me think differently about myself and other people around me as well. And you know, actually on this topic, I think that I have a friend that's basically been through the same thing. I'm going to try to give her a call actually. Yeah, go ahead. Sounds cool. This girl's name is Jacqueline and she's in New Jersey right now, and I know for a fact she's had some experience with this. Oh. Hey. Hi. Hey, I'm just here in the cafe with some of my buddies. <laughs> and I was just talking about bullying, and I know you've had some experience with that yourself, so. A lot. Do you mind sharing with us? Um, well last year when I got into seventh grade, I found out that this one girl was in my class, and a lot of the years, like, she's always picked on, like, one certain girl through, like, out her grade. And it ended up last year that I was the girl that she picked on. She always made fun of me, made fun of the way I looked, made fun of my clothes, and she threatened to, like, kill my family, and um, she, like, stole stuff from me. It like lowered my self-esteem a lot and I was just so happy to have like my friends and my family around because if I didn't, I'd be so upset. Wow, yeah, that's, that's horrible. I mean, what do you guys feel about that? That's pretty crazy. It's pretty serious. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'd do if some, somebody started threatening me and my family. I don't know what I'd do. So what were some of the things that you did um, to sort of prevent that? I, I went to the principal and they suspended her, but when she came back, she just started up again. Wow. So she really didn't learn any lessons from, from being punished in school or anything like that. I mean, has it stopped now? No, not at all. She, I, don't, I don't see her anymore, but the stories I hear, she still harasses other kids. Wow. So it wasn't just with you then? No, not at all. What do you think was the motive for her to do all of that? I think she actually had a lower self-esteem. Maybe she wasn't growing up right. But in that case, like, I feel bad for her, but step up, up, up. Did that affect your school or anything? I mean, how did that affect you personally with your feelings about yourself? It made me feel very upset and that, like, I felt I was treated very bad, and it like I just went home all those times and I cried. I feel like imagine if she was getting bullied as much as she was bullying you, and I feel like if you get that to a lot of bullies, to get them to listen and to get them to open their mind, and to be like that's wrong, and and to have them imagine themselves like what if that was me, and to have them really think about it, I think that it would help a lot. It would just help a lot of us. Just, just I to... totally understand. Like, I would try to address her, and it would just be, like, impossible, you know? But, like, I always want to say, like, why don't you put yourself in my shoes? Yeah, I totally understand. And thank you so much for sharing with us. You're welcome. Thank you for giving me a call. Yeah, you know, it's... Bullying's a really serious issue, and I believe it really needs to be addressed, and you really helped with that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.